Let's check our project directory. Click on the project directory button. We're going to open up a folder called scene.org. Click open to set your project directory. We're going to file, load, from the scenes folder, a scene called scene.org setup.fxs. Messiah is a wonderful animation tool, but you're not going to get very far unless you have some organizational skills. What we're going to do is we're going to add three characters to this scene and make it easier for the animators to animate each character. So we have a mountainy scene with several small steps and stairs. You can see we have different models inside. We're going to load three characters. Go to File, Load. First one is called Dud One Setup. We're going to append this scene. Click OK. We're not going to load the view settings. So we have a character right in the middle of the scene. It has bones and sliders and everything. Let's load a second character. Dud 2 setup. Append the scene. Don't load view settings. I'm going to load the third character. Append the scene. And don't load view settings. Now we have three characters. They're all in the same spot because this is a setup position. But we've made quite a mess of the list down here at the bottom. We have four cameras, we have skeleton deforms, IK feet, model files. We need to organize this so it's easier for the animators to find out what they need to touch and what they don't. We'll click into setup. First thing we're going to do is get rid of the cameras that we don't need. We have our original camera, so right click on the icon to make it active. And select camera one, hold down the control key, multi select camera two and camera 3. I'll delete those from the scene. We're going to add some organizational nulls. We basically call these nulls folders because they're used to sort and separate all of our controls and our meshes and effects. We're going to add the first one. We're going to call this one Set Geometry. Click on the plus button to add that. We'll drag this to the top of the list just under the camera. This is going to hold everything that's not a character that's basically a prop, which in this case will be stairs 2, 3, 4, 1, and terrain. Parent that to set geometry. We're going to black lock those. We're going to red lock the set geometry null and change its draw mode to N so it doesn't show up here in the 3D view. Let's close down set geometry. We're going to add another null called effects. Click on the plus button to add that. This null will hold all of our effects, such as bone deforms, skeleton deforms, sphere eyes, any effect that we can turn on and off, which in this case will be the purple nodes here called skeleton. So highlight all of the purple nodes you see, dud1, dud2, dud3, and parent those to the effects null. Black lock those with a left mouse click. We're going to right mouse click and red lock the effects null, change its draw mode to N. We'll close it up. Let's add another null called character geometry. Add that to the list. This will include everything that is a character that is a mesh, which in this case will be dud1, dud2, they have the gray icon, dud3. Parent those to the character geometry. Black lock those with the left mouse click. Right mouse click to red lock the geometry null. Change its draw mode to N. We'll close that one up. Now what we should have left now are just our characters and their controls. Now that's still quite a very large list even if we close everything up here. We still have to find and search out the IK controls. We have to find our face expressions. If we select anything in there this branch automatically opens back up again. So let's organize it even further. We're going to highlight one of these, and then we're going to add another null and call it the name of the character. In this case, it will be dud1, add several underscores, do not animate. This is simply a placement null. It holds all of our controls and everything, so we don't have to deal with searching through the character lists all the time. So we'll add that to the list here. Find everything that's labeled DUD1. Hold down the control key to multi-select. 
like a foot right, left, we'll parent that to the dud one, no. We'll red lock dud ones, no. Change its draw mode to end so we don't have to see it. We'll close down that. Let's do the same thing for dud two and three. Make this dud two, do not animate. Click the plus button, add that to the list. Highlight dud two, face, hips, IK feet, parent that to dud two. Close that down, red lock it, change its draw mode to end. Add a third one, dud three. And highlight everything that's labeled dud three and parent that. Red lock it, change its draw mode to end. So now this is a lot easier to organize. We can close down each individual character without having to paw through the lists. If we need to hide our set, it's all in one here. Just hold down the control key and change the draw mode to hide our set. We we'll click into animate. We can select each null here and move the character in its entirety, controls and all. So if we have an animation that is slightly off, we can shift the main null, the do not animate null, and the animation will carry over. Let's go into the commands tab. I've added a few expressions to each of these characters and the commands just show up as a list so let's organize the commands tab too. Let's create a new variable. We're going to call this one dud1 underscore expressions. Find everything that's labeled dud1 and we'll parent that to dud1 expressions. And we can just close that one down. Do the same thing to dud2 and 3. Dud2 expressions. Find everything labeled dud2, parent it to that, and close it up. Add new variable, dud3 expressions. Parent dud3, close it up. Expressions take compute power, so now that we have everything parented, we can also toggle off each expression set all at once, which is pretty handy. Set these to after IK, close them up. Let's go to the File tab. We're going to save this scene as sceneorga.fxs.